So, with this uh, we come to the end of uh, the course on data science for engineers. Uh, I am going to do a quick summary of the course. I hope all of you had a productive time looking through the videos and learning interesting ideas in data science. In summary, we broke down this course into the following modules. We started with R programming as the programming platform for solving data science problems. So, we had a set of lectures explaining the important concepts of R programming that are useful from a data science viewpoint. We followed that up with uh, lectures on fundamental ideas in linear algebra and statistics that are useful for data science and machine learning. We then introduced the idea of optimization and optimization algorithms uh, that are useful for us to understand machine learning algorithms and uh, make sense out of why uh, we get some results when we run certain machine learning algorithms and so on. After that, we described a framework for solving data science problems. This is a framework that you can use to conceptually break down a large data science problems into smaller sub problems in some workflow fashion. We then moved on to describing uh, regression analysis, where we described uh, techniques for univariate and multivariate problems. Here we focused on building appropriate models, uh, identifying the goodness of models and so on. Then we looked at classification techniques, logistics regression and KNN. And then we also described clustering techniques such as k-means clustering. And as part of this course, there is a case study for you to practice which will be available on the website. Now that you have done this course and hopefully you have learnt enough from this course, uh, what is the logical next step if you were uh, excited by this course and want to know more about data science after doing this course? I would say first is to do more practice on the same ideas that have been taught in this course. So, you might want to look at other problems and uh, other practice examples and exercises for the concepts that we have already taught in this course. So, that is the first thing to do. Once you do that, uh, the data science problems that we described in this course are rather simple. So, you might want to look at how people solve more involved data science problems and whether you can use the framework to break them down into smaller problems and then see uh, whether you can learn more about these problems. Now, as I mentioned before, we teach only very few machine learning techniques in this course uh, for the beginners. However, uh, there are many, many more algorithms that are out there such as decision trees, random forests, support vector machines, kernel tricks and so on. So, we have listed many of the commonly uh, known and used algorithms for more complicated or more uh, complex um, machine learning problems. So, the next logical step would be once you master the material that has been taught in this course is to look at uh, learning these algorithms and you could use the same notion of understanding the assumptions that are uh, underlying these algorithms to, to get a good idea of why these algorithms work the way they work. And also to understand the technical details of these algorithms in terms of uh, what is the learning rule and why does it work and so on. So, uh, data science is a very vast field. Uh, obviously, there is a lot of interest, uh, there is a lot of buzz around this field uh, and, and it is only going to get even more important as we go along because more uh, data is going to be generated and one would expect the computational power to increase even more for the next few years. And the math and the algorithmic details are being probed by many researchers. So, one would expect even better algorithms to uh, come down 
uh, in the next few years. So, a mix of all of these factors make it important that everyone uh, have some fundamental understanding of data science and people who are really interested in this field have much more in-depth understanding of techniques such as the ones that are listed here uh, and so that you are able to solve uh, much more complicated problems which have much more value in, in real life. So, happy learning and uh, hope um, this course was useful. Thank you.